second review, you know. <laughs> and we've been having jello shots. <laughs> yeah, they're tweeting. <laughs> oh, I got a big ass ship in my back. You guys are good. Okay, are you going? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Back at the beer table uh, today, we've uh, we're on the heels of St. Patrick's Day, and we've decided to go ahead and do a, a beer tasting for Dick's Brewery out of Centralia, Washington. Uh, my name's Alan. I'm Tom. I'm Gary. I'm John. And welcome to the beer table. So uh, Dick's Brewery, little thing about Dick. Dick started in the mid '80s, and he had a delicatessen where he made sausages and the like, and sandwiches, and he loved to brew beer. And he decided in the 90s to get serious about it. And uh, just 2005 or 6, he built a big brewery. And uh, his flagship beer we're going to do tonight, Dick's Danger. And he's got a variety of beers. I encourage you to go to their website. They, they do have some quality beers here for Northwest uh, Beers. In 2009, Dick died. And his family's carrying on his heritage of some quality beers. So what's up first tonight? Uh, Dick's Danger Ale, which is their flagship beer. Kind of put them on the map. It's a 5.2 ABV done with black malt and magnum hops. And uh, it's super popular. This is, this is the beer that got them going. And I was in Dick's Brewery about, I don't know, maybe 12 years ago, back when they were in the deli. And it was really a cool little right. place. I haven't been back. But, you know, I was, I was there a long time ago, and it was really fun and great beers, and, you know. Do you have a sausage? I have a sausage. <laughs> I believe. Thanks for asking. And now, let's go ahead and try Dick's Danger yeah. Ale. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know my family watches this. Well, it is just after St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> you just finished those beers and that. That's exactly right. It's the morning after. It is? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, well, look at the green. <laughs> you forgot to yeah. bathe. I wow. forgot to use water-based paint. Yeah, well. I will, I will say real quick about Dick's is that they uh, they do give tours, and they're open Fridays and I think every third Saturday for tours at Dick's. Down I like Street. this. Yeah, it's good. Danger. Yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. another session beer. Yeah. This is something I you know I wouldn't I can drink a few of those. Yeah. And I don't know about you guys, but I think if this was a little bit warmer, it would have more flavor. Yeah, that may be fair. It's kind of, um, I can tell it, it, it's good, but it's kind of, it's, it needs, for me it needs to be a little warmer, but I lived in England for 10 years. And it, you're, you're probably right, it, it, this is going to taste a little bit different when it warms up. It does, but you still have that caramel taste. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good. It's good. medium body yeah. beer. I'd, I'd beer. agree to great essential beer. Yeah. Yeah. Like and the malt is really good. It's actually the black malt flavor. I mean, that's a nice, got a great malty flavor. I'm and surprised. It's just a hint of hop. You know, it's well done. Yeah, I think so. Pint? They do a pint? Oh, definitely. Yep. Yeah. We all be doing a probably drink. a schooner just because it's not an IPA. <laughs> 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 What's up next? Oh, next? Well, we're doing uh, the IPA. IPA! Woohoo! 5.5% ABV, ABV, sorry. Um, it's a 90 minute boil with four huge um, hop additions during the boil. Supposed to be, uh, according to the website, one of the hoppiest IPAs in the Northwest. So um, we just finished actually trying about 30 of them. So we're in a good position to not say today. whether we think no, that's not, true. Not like five minutes. No, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> over a course of our... Is that review out? Out? Is that review out yet? No. No. It's we're coming working, out. We're working on it. It's coming out. Uh, working yeah. on IPA review. This is the IPA right there. Thanks, by the way, John. For yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's cool. Mm. That's mm. a hoppy beer. Mm. You but know what? I make a double IPA, too. Yeah. I don't think it's the hoppiest beer I've ever had. No. No. You know, it's got the classic elements, though, in IPA, don't you? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. It does. It's got all the classic elements. Yeah, just not as hoppy as, you know, I've had hoppier, you know, right. straight Northwest IPAs. It's good. It's it's nice. It, see, it looks a little more filtered mm -hmm. than some of. I tend to gravitate more towards the unfiltered IPAs that are real hoppy. Um, you know, I'm probably a sucker for Boundary Bays and a, and a few others, Ninkasis. Yeah. 
You know, I will say that, uh, as Gary mentioned, we did an IPA review where we tasted 20 of the Northwest top IPAs and came up with our favorite five as a collective group. Don't tell. And uh, I won't tell you what those are. I won't say that this made the top five. However, it was a very solid IPA and competed with the rest of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, I must say that this, for an IPA, this isn't as citrusy as some of the other ones that we've tasted. And I really like that citrus back on it. And uh, I mean, it does have, it's a very mellow, you know, almost a tangerine orange flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys get that. Like citrus, like grapefruit, yeah. Yeah. hoppy, and you know, that citrusy uh, character comes out of the style of hops they use, and I'm not an expert enough on the hops um, to know which ones, but it's the hop variety that produces, and that's also my that's that's my killer flavor in IPAs is that citrus taste. Right. I'd certainly do a pint of it. Also, oh, would I? I, I would drink it well ahead of the danger, just because. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a hop head. I like I love IPAs. You know. That's a, good, that's a good IPA. Yeah. Very good. So the next beer that we're going to try is the Cream Stout. Um, this has an ABV of 5.5. Uh, the difference between a Cream Stout and a regular Stout, really quickly, is lactose. Um, lactose is not fermented by beer yeast. Um, so this has a little bit of lactose in it. So if you're lactose intolerant, you can probably still get by. And you'll be all right. A little sweet. And it makes it creamy. It does. There you go. You know? And some, people, some people really like it. You know? How about you, Englishman? Do you like it? <laughs> You'll love it. Huh? Mm. That's chocolatey. Yeah, I like it. It is creamy. But it almost tastes I like, like that creamy. It's not bad for having an impure substance in it. <laughs> impure substance. Oh, you know God. what? This tastes like it has <laughs> cola. Camera yeah. guy would never drink this beer, but... I'm tasting a touch of smoke. Little, oh, it's burnt. Little, These little are burnt malt. I like smoking. it. Burnt. No, not I like it. It's probably because I'm full of impure substance. <laughs> <laughs> I get my lactose from there. Your walking sack of skin. That's it's right. It's well, it's, pure it substance. is good though. A lot of cream stouts mm -hmm. out there. Pine or Schooner. I do a Schooner this. As much as I like stouts, I, I mean, this is fine. It's not great. I'd have a, I'd have a pint. I like it. And I don't think pick enough cream stouts to know to know where this would sit, but it, I, I like it. Okay, it's got I like it more flavor. than a dry Irish. I don't like it as much as an oatmeal, but I think it's a fine right in between. Mm -hmm. I think it's you know the dry Irishes don't tend to have a whole lot. This is pretty complex. Mm -hmm. It's got it's it's you know it's coffee. It's got a little chocolate. It's got a lot. Of it does. It's got a fair it does. But you know the only thing that I, why I wouldn't do a pint is that it, there's not a lot on the finish. Yeah, it kind of drops no, it off. Kind of goes, it goes goes by. Yeah. I mean, but it's very drinkable. Must be that lactose. Yeah. You know, I would I'd do a pint of it because I think it's a solid beer. However, most of the establishments that we visit, there's 30 mm -hmm. taps and there's such a variety. I'd probably go schooner at this. It wouldn't be one that I'd grab a pint when there's a big variety. But I drink it. It's good, you know, cream stuff. Yeah, that's it's coming good. from the barley wine boss. Hey, yeah, he's and up next. what's up next? <laughs> All right, we saved the best last. Dick's barley wine. I love barley wine. I'm gonna, you know, I'm just a barley wine guy. And I like Imperials, I like high octane stuff. Sorry. Nothing this, small. Nothing small. I, you know, Dick's, I've had this before, I enjoy this one. Um, variety of malts, Munich malts, uh, caramel malts, uh, you know, 9.9. .9. Um, you know, it's like. Uh, Big ABV. Yeah, it is. It's like drinking wine. The only way you get a beer that strong is to put a lot of ingredients in it. A little extra sugar, I think, is in there. And, and, uh, yeah, or lactose or glucose or something. <laughs> yeah, like ever glucose. Yeah, yeah. 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 vodka, I don't care. I don't care what you put in it if it tastes good. That's anyway, right. Anyway, barley wines, uh, strong beer, folks. Ooh. Mm. Way you to go, know, Dick. It, it's it's mellow. Yeah. Mm. It does, it's a mellow bottle. It is real mellow. have a big bite. No, it's got, it's smooth. It's dangerously smooth. Oh. Real quick, I would like to put somebody on the spot and welcome a good friend of ours, a Northwest chocolatier, uh, Kevin, come here. Taste uh -oh. this. Tell us what oh, you Oh, yeah. <laughs> we go to barley wine parties at Kevin's house. He has a wine cellar of barley wines. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, Thanks, brother. Yeah. Thank you. Dick's barley wine. He does have a cellar full of water. Yes, he does. Is your house locked, Kevin? I like that. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah. I've got a couple more. We'll be able to drink some more afterwards. Very good. This um, is real, like you say, it's smooth. It's, it's a lot of barley smooth. wines are edgy. Yeah. You know, yeah. they they got a big sort of either a hot bite or a alcohol burn bite, but mm -hmm. this is real smooth. No, I would never think that this was a nine. Especially for almost ten minutes. No, that's dangerous. Yeah. You can no, drink that and think it was six. It's not yeah, too absolutely. sweet either. That's what I like about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Syrup and I do that like the sweet sound. barley wines, there's no doubt, but I like, this is super smooth. This is so, so it gets a... I do a pint of it, although they probably don't serve it in a pint. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it comes by the bottle. But it, I, I think it's a good beer. Have, you, have any of you guys well, had this on this really tap? Good. I would love to have this on tap. Oh, yeah. well, I don't think it's good enough. Maybe go down yeah. 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 yeah, let's do the road trip. No, great. That's, this on tap would be amazing. I'm super impressed I'm with that beer right yeah. there. Way to go. Nice. Well, so I'd like to thank you again for joining us at the beer table. Um, Kevin is a wonderful chocolatier. His company is Chocolate Necessities. Is com. Chocolate Necessities com? It is. It is. Visit it. Wonderful, wonderful chocolate. He's been making chocolate for 25 years. And uh, actually, here's the part one. Yeah, it does. Well. That's absolutely yeah, true. And we, quarters and we, stouts. We've done that. Oh yeah. Times. yeah. Did you bring some chocolate? We need to do that. <laughs> Kevin. Join us for a beer. Yeah, we'll do a chocolate we'll do beer a show. show. We would. We ought to do one of these shows at your shop if that's okay. At his shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah, beer and chocolate. Yeah. There's some surprising correlation between the dark chocolate and this barley wines. Yeah, stouts, quarters, barley yeah. wines. Yeah. Well, and, and chocolate. A show coming soon. Chocolate necessities and barley and wines. wines. And barley yes. wines. So there you go. go. And Susha Manor. And chocolate necessities. Uh, have a good night. Join hey, us. Leave us a comment down below or subscribe above. Subscribe. Tell us what you'd like to see. We don't even ask for your social security number, Visa card, or nothing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we could. Just yeah. comment. Thanks a lot.